and welcome back to my channel. So today is a continuation of my um, Japanese fashion makeup series. Um, today I am doing a really fun Decora inspired look. I got really excited. As you can tell, um, I kind of wish I had enough like hair clips and stuff to like go all the way down because this wig is extremely long. But um, yeah. I'm I'm really happy with how this turned out once the, like the wig and the accessories all went on it kind of like all came together and let's get on with the tutorial so I'm gonna start off with a white eyeshadow base and I'm using the princessa perfect wear eyeshadow pencil in opalescent blue just so that the colors have a nice base to stick to I will be applying that all over my lid up to my brow and then just blending it out with my finger. It has a really nice kind of blue duochrome to it and it's really pretty. Then taking Corpse Cosmetic Sirens Glow in Victorian on a little flat brush, I'm going to pack that on the inner portion of my lid just so that I have a big dolly eye appearance. And it just makes your eyes look very bright and open. Now taking the Wet n Wild Center Stage Eyeshadow Quad in Maldives Sky. I'm going to take that dark purple. Now it looks really dark in the pan. I know, but it comes off a really pretty lavender color. Um on the eye so I'm just going to use that for the rest of my lid blending it in with that Victorian and it's going to give us a really pretty light lavender look and of course I'm going to bring it up past my crease because again like I say in pretty much every tutorial I have hooded eyes and I actually want to see the work that I put in <laughs> to my eyeshadow so I am bringing it up higher of course if you don't have hooded eyes you don't have to do this Now I'm going to go in with a blush. I'm using City Colors Blush Quad Collection 1 and I'm using a small brush and I'm just going to add that pink kind of towards the outer portion of that eyeshadow and blend it out towards my temples. Um, I want to do a very heavy handed high blush look for this and so I'm just kind of going from where the eyeshadow was and extending it out as it is part of my blush. Um, I'm also going to bring it down underneath my eye as well, not too close to my lower lash line. Um, and grabbing a bigger brush and just kind of going all over my temples and my cheeks. And I did apply some more Victorian over where I usually put highlighter and filled in my eyebrows, but um, I wasn't filming, so yeah, there's that magic. <laughs> now I'm just going to line my eyes like I normally would, except this time I'm just going to go straight out with the liner. Instead of going up with a cat eye, I'm just going to go straight out because we are going to create that um, bigger eye appearance. And then I'm going to go uh, just a little bit down where my natural lash line is and create that fake lower lash line with the eyeliner. And then I was like, hey, I don't really want to wear false lashes. So I drew three little fake lashes because I think they're really cute and I wanted to do it. So you don't have to. Obviously, you could put false lashes on. But I just think it's really cute. And I couldn't find my false lashes. <laughs> I was having a bad false lash day. <laughs> now I'm just going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Yayo. And line my waterline and my inner tear duct area and inner lower lash line. 
just so we got a big old dolly eye look. And then we're going to add stickers. Now this is completely up to you. With decor looks, you can add stickers, you can add buttons, confetti, glitter, anything you want. Honestly, it's up to you at this point. Um, I have these really cute flower stickers and I really liked them. And I was like, I'm going to put them on my face because I like stickers. <laughs> now, lips. For lips, I'm using the Wet n Wild Lipstick in Dollhouse Pink, which is like all-time favorite Barbie pink lipstick ever. And I'm just going to apply that. And then over it for a fun glossy look, I'm going to use NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blondie, which is like such good stuff. And of course, I really wanted to add like a cute band-aid on my nose, but I didn't have any. I just have the basic ones, but you know. Then I just paired the look with a long lavender wig and tons and tons of accessories and hair clips and oh my god, I love this look. And that is the finished look. Um, you can add false lashes, of course. I didn't just because I just, I've got so much going on and uh, false lashes are not my friend right now so I just like forget that and I added this really pretty long lavender wig and a ton of accessories <laughs> like a ton um obviously you can do more and like go all the way down and like cover your entire head which I would have loved to do that but I don't have enough like hair clips or bows or anything like that so why wow. one day one day <laughs> one day I will have enough hair clips to fill my entire head um but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and are enjoying this series if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not also hit the little notification bell to be notified of every single upload here on my channel for this series future videos all that good stuff um, my social media is all below. Check it out. Instagram, I'm on there pretty much every single day. Um, Twitter, I try to post at least once a day. Um, Facebook, I'm on there all the time. So go follow me. I do have a Snapchat, but with the new Snapchat thing, I just, just, just. Snapchat. Um, I try to Snapchat as much as I can. And yeah. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!